coming up. We were looking for something that we could, you know, have good growth in the steers, but yet have good moms. We started using balancer bulls and the balancer crossbreeding program fits our program. Learn how Gelby cattle are generating profit for U.S. beef producers next on The American Rancher. Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. Today we showcase Gelby cattle, the breed that is meeting some of the toughest demands of the modern beef industry. We'll take a closer look at their outstanding maternal efficiency, post weaning performance, and much more. Commercial producers across the country are running successful operations with Gelby and hybrid balancer cattle. And every day those producers demonstrate why Gelby and balancer cattle are the smart, reliable, and profitable choice. One of the oldest German cattle breeds, Gelby cattle are known for their milking ability, heavy muscling, and early weaning. Today, these attributes are maximizing profitability in operations across the country. Gelby is one of the oldest German cattle breeds to be imported to the United States. Systematic breeding work began in stud herds near Franken, Germany in about the 1850s. Lennis Hall first saw Gelby cattle in 1969, and in 1971, Carnation Genetics imported 43,000 units of Gelby semen to the U.S. The American Gelby Association was also formed in 1971. Today, the breed is the fifth largest breed registry association in the United States and has approximately 1,000 members and 40,000 active cows. This ranch was started in about 1880 by my great-grandfather. He came from Scotland and he settled in this area. Roger and I are fourth generation here on the ranch. We've got two daughters, so we've got four granddaughters ranging from ages 16 down to six. And they all enjoy ranch life. They like to ride. They love, they love the cattle. They love the Gelby cattle because they're so docile. The ranch is now almost 140 years old. Lindy and I moved back here in 1976. In 1980, we were exposed to the Gelby breed and fell in love with it. Our first purchase was uh, a bull from Denver Stock Show from uh, Valhalla Ranch down in Colorado. Probably eight years ago, we went from the purebreds into the balancers and we really enjoyed the balancers. We downscaled from the bigger breeds down to uh, more moderate, but we picked up more flesh. Uh, we still got the docility and the, and the milk and just enjoying the balancer bulls real well. Most of our cows will breed in the first heat cycle. We've been as high as 90% in the first heat cycle, but uh, more than norm would be 80 to 85% in the first heat cycle, uh, which is good for us. It helps uh, more uniform calf crop. Our granddaughters show them in 4-H and FFA, and they, they are just in love with the, the big ears and, the, and how docile they are, and they're just, they just turn into teddy bears. And we also gave a steer calf to one of our great nieces, and he was a, a leftover steer calf because he, the, he was a younger calf and, and didn't get on the truck, and we had a handful of those left over. So in January, they came and picked out one calf, and he only weighed 450 pounds, and we said, we, we hope he makes weight by your county fair. And so they took him to Buffalo, Wyoming, and she uh, fed him, and when they, entered him up in the county fair uh, the first of August he weighed 1205 pounds and he gained over four pounds a day and she did very well with him and she said he was the most docile thing they were it just turned out to be a great project so even even the the leftover steer calves can be winners and uh, it's pretty remarkable that they can have that sort of a rate of gain In today's beef cattle industry, maternal efficiency is more important than ever. 
a cow that consumes less, produces more, and stays in the herd longer equates to more money in your pocket. Gelby cattle are widely recognized for their maternal superiority through added fertility, greater longevity, and moderate mature cow size. You know, the, the compliments that the Gelby breed bring in, uh, again, are, 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 I think, utter quality, tea quality, uh, their milking ability, and the muscle, uh, and then the hybrid big, vigor that they, they give, you know, when you crossbreed them, just, you know, adds extra pounds um, come, come sale day. So that's why we use them. Of course, the, the increased weaning weights, yeah, that's a big one. but. A lot of other things that maybe aren't quite as noticeable, that maybe they're more subtle, would be like the stayability, the longevity, but also the stayability of the replacement females. That's big for us because we're a cow-calf operation, but ultimately those, those cows have to produce a calf that's going to feed well in the feed lot. You know, we keep probably 40 to 50 half heifers every year, and probably 80, 80, 85 percent of what we sell goes on to be bred. In our own herd, our own replacement heifers we've kept uh, in the last three years, uh, we've kept about 160 heifers, and we're right at a 98 percent conception rate with the heifers. In our cabin, we're uh, with the mature cows. We start them uh, the middle of March and uh, we are 85% done in the first cycle. And uh, it's, that, that makes a nice, even calf crop when you go to sort them and sell them. Uh, it's like Paul and I said, you know, when we, re when we pick out replacement heifers, they're, they're good heifers and it's hard to pick which ones you want to keep. I mean, even though you know the herd. Calves, our heifers are super uniform. We've, we've kept them all and bred them all before and calved them all out and uh, you know they all have worked well so it's easy for us to keep our replacements and then feel confident that um, guys that come in and buy you know a load or two of replacement females are, they work really well as far as the older cows that are still in production um, they can do it i mean we've got cows that are you know 12 years old and have been doing it their whole lives the reports that we've had on the people that have bought the heifers uh, is really good so far. At this point, the Gelvy balancer is working great for us, and it's been a smart choice to switch to that. Coming up. Our decision to go to the balancer cattle. We decided that those balancer bulls would be a good complement to our Angus-based herd. Meet the crossbreed that adds value to your herd. That's after the break on The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. For years, the hybrid vigor of crossbreeding has given a powerful advantage to the beef industry, and for good reason. Early on, the American Gelby Association recognized how well Gelby genetics fit into a crossbreeding program, and they created Balancer, a trademark name for registered hybrid beef cattle. A balancer is a superior cross between Gelby and Black or Red Angus. American Gelby Association members and leadership recognized the importance of crossbreeding early on. In the late 1990s, they began to register balancer cattle. Balancers are registered hybrid cattle. Balancers are a minimum of 25% Gelby up to 75% Gelby with the offsetting percentage being either Angus or Red Angus. Gelby cattle offer the most complementarity to the British breeds. About 10 or 12 years ago when we started purchasing the balancer bulls, we noticed a, a big increase in uh, weaning weights. The health of the herd improved. A lot of that is due to uh, the crossbreed program also an improved uh, vaccination program. We started using balancer bulls in uh, 1994. Uh, before that we were using uh, terminal cross bulls and we were having to buy all of our replacement heifers. So we were looking for something that we could you know, have good growth in the steers, 
but yet have good moms. And uh, since then, it's it's been a really good choice for us. Uh, the calves grow real well, the steers do, uh, and the heifers, they are great moms. We always try to improve the herd, and these balancer cattle have really helped us. Um, they're docile, uh, they're easy to train, I, I guess, because they are docile. We, you know, we get them used to a set of pins, and we handle them in a certain way, and, and uh, those young heifer calves uh, seem like they're easy to train and easy to handle, whether it's with the, the caker pickup or the feed wagon. And we do everything horseback here, and, and they're good cattle to handle horseback. We decided that, that those, those balancer bulls and the, and the balancer breed, the Gelve breed, would be a good complement to our black-based cows, our Angus-based herd, uh, because those calves are easy calving, lighter birth weights, generally speaking, and in particular the Gelve is a very thrifty uh, calf um, and and they do good and, and it, it has it has uh, proven that fact to be right over the years. Uh, I try to select numbers and bulls that are of moderate numbers. Uh, I concentrate on uh, on the carcass side but I also concentrate on the female side. We have to stay in that moderate range because we're, we're trying to do a little bit of both. We're, you know, we're trying to do it all, which is hard to do, but, but again, it, uh, that, that balancer breeding seems to help us do that. And, and we've had good success. The owner of this ranch um, wanted black, so um, we started purchasing first purebred Gelby bulls before the balancer thing kind of took off and breeding those to Angus cattle. And then once uh, the balancer started coming around um, and you know getting better, that's uh, pretty much all that we buy. We do use some Angus bulls on our um, first calf heifers, but after that um, we, we like the balancers. Um, primarily because how they complement, you know, the, the Angus cattle, huh, the British breed. Um, the, the milking ability, uh, the meat, uh, and everything really works well for us here. The Balancer crossbreeding program fits our program, and it fits our ranch and our resources so that we can more fully utilize the resources that we have available to us and reduce the amount of outside input. Up next. We've been getting a lot of good feedback from the feedlots that are buying our calves. Those cattle start out a little lighter, but, but boy, they, they wean heavier and they match our resources. Learn how Gelby and Balancer cattle perform in the feedlot and on the rail. You're watching The American Rancher. Welcome back to The American Rancher. In addition to how well Gelby and Balancer perform at the ranch, the benefits of Gelby and Balancer genetics really shine in the feedlot and on the rail. These cattle add pounds, make the grade, and deliver the value. On the steer calves, the people who purchase the steer calves have always been pleased with the performance. They've outperformed what their rations uh, were designed for, and uh, that, that's always good news to hear. I enjoy hearing that. Those cattle start out a little lighter, but but boy, they they wean heavier because they do better. They are thrifty, and and they match our resources here in the Sand Hills. 
and you know these feeders and uh, the same guys have been buying them year after year after year because they're working for them and they know that they can get those calves uh, it doesn't take long for them to get over their you know their weaning and they can really you know feed them and, and hit that April market um, so again the heavier the better uh, is what they always tell me you know the first of October and you know consistently we've been doing it you know the last 10, 12 years and, you know, just trying to hit that, the pay weight at 700 pounds. We started in the Gelby business probably in the 90s, late 80s, 90s. We really liked the functionality of the maternal side of the cows. They're moderate size, they're good milkers, um, very high fertility. And those characteristics uh, carry over into our carcass merit programs. We're a cow-calf to beef feedlot operation. So we're from birth to finish. Well, hybrid vigor is very important. Um, it's, a, it's a free gift, and to not take advantage of it is very foolish, especially in the cattle industry. The hybrid vigor is a provided an extended growth curve for us, so we can take uh, a, a balancer steer to 1,690 pounds, um, push them to the max with a 2% shrink, a 62.3 yield will come in at a 1,049 pound carcass. He'll be 15 to 20% prime, 1% uh, select, and like I mentioned earlier, uh, minimal fours and fives. A couple things we do do, we do uh, ultrasound and replacement heifers for ribeye to live weight ratio and for quality grade. Um, we also have used DNA to do some selection on uh, better mature, maternal traits and, and carcass traits. We're producing uh, 15 to 20 percent prime, about one to five percent selects, and you know under the threshold and fours, which is usually uh, around 15 percent less fours and fives. We've been collecting carcass data in, since 2003 and following that data through. Um, we did one study a few years ago in about 2015 where we took 10 years of carcass data, stacked it all together and put it on the same grid. And in that 10 year period of time, we had increased the value of our cattle $300 a head, which to me is exceptional. We did that through two ways, increasing our pounds of marketable beef plus increasing the quality. And those two attributes really work good with Galvey cattle. We extend our growth curve, and which thus gives us more pounds, and we don't get the discounts of fours and fives or heavies. The American Galvey Association offers programs and services that add even more value to producers who use Galvey genetics. One of the newest programs is Balancer Edge, a source and age verified program that adds marketing value to producers who raise feeder calves sired by Gelvy and Balancer Bulls. Balancer Edge is a new program offered by the American Gelvy Association in conjunction with IMI Global. It's agent source verification for feeder cattle sired by Gelvy and Balancer Bulls. The breed requirement is for 75% of the sires used to be registered Gelby and Balancer bulls, and the, additionally, those bulls have to be a minimum of 25% Gelby. So AGA is working in conjunction with IMI Global to offer this program. IMI Global does the agent source verification. They do the breed requirements. They verify those by the registration papers, and the program's available to all producers, regardless of size, for $3 head enrollment which covers the verification services and an EID tag. If a producer would like to purchase dangle tags for visuals for management purposes, those pairs are four and a quarter per head. So in addition to participating in age and source and having their cattle breed identified, producers have the option to participate in other value-added programs such as NHTCs, All Naturals, and the GAP programs. We're excited to be able to offer this program to producers who are utilizing Gelby and Balancer Genetics to obtain some breed recognition and to be able to add value to their cattle by creating more marketing options for potential buyers. 
To assist producers in placing Gelvian Balance or Influence feeder cattle in a place where they will be most successful, the American Gelvie Association started our Feeder Finder service. Feeder Finder was created in 2015 and helps producers with Gelvian Balance or Influence feeder cattle market those cattle via email to over 250 feed yards across the country. For producers to put their cattle onto Feeder Finder, they can fill out a form which can be found on gelvie.org under the Exchange section or can simply contact the AGA office at 303-465-2333. But one thing that did help us, I feel, is uh, the feeder finder that uh, the Gelby Association is working with. And when they put the word out, it seems like our bidding had gone up a little bit, and I, I did appreciate that program. Part of our program that we would like to expand is, is uh, the information, and it's, it's coming from feedlots, but also through technology and you know, to find out the production side, but also in the in the carcass side and the meat case side. You know, we, we would like to see how our cattle are doing. I'd like to be able to continue to measure our cattle when when they leave the ranch. So, and the Gelby Association is great. Uh, you, you know, they, they offer tools to do just that. For more information about Gelby and Balancer cattle and the commercial programs offered by the American Gelby Association, visit gelby.org. That's all the time we have today. To find out more about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or connect with us on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. For the entire American Rancher team, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Superior.